Hey guys, uh, welcome to, I guess, my review of this new movie, Home Sweet Home Alone. Oh! This is not going well! <laughs> Home Sweet Home Alone. Oh no, a ladder! You think I'm that stupid? <laughs> yes, I do. Only on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, just... Uh, I just want to say, and I'm going to talk about all, a little bit of all the Home Alones, but why, why, just why the fuck do they keep making these stupid Home Alone movies? In 1990, the world was blessed by the John Hughes and Chris Columbus movie Home Alone, starring Macaulay Cogan, Daniel Stern, Joe Pesci, John Hurd, Catherine O'Hara, even John Candy as a small role. The movie was simplistic, but a kid who was left home alone during the Christmas holidays, and he basically has the time of his life until he has to deal with two burglars, known as the Wet Bandits, that are coming to rob his house, and he has to defend his house. And then hijinks ensue, but the movie is also a deep movie about family and about uh, standing up for yourself, and also not to judge a book by its cover. I love the first Home Alone movie. It's a beautiful Christmas movie. It is super funny. Great characters. And it's just, I, I, I love everything about Home Alone. I watch it like three or four times a year, and I have been since I've been a kid. And you you can't top it. And you can't, you can't. You just can't do that again. And how I know that, they made a bunch of sequels, and none of them have even come close to as good as that Home Alone movie. Home Alone 2 Lost in New York is not a very good movie, but I love it. It, it. it is literally a rehash of the first film, but I still love it. And I know it's a pretty bad movie, but I love it still. It's got Tim Curry. I love Tim Curry in the movie. Have a lovely day. And again, Macaulay Cogan is back in the role, and he's great. Uh, Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci are back as Harry and Marv. The fucking wet bandits, or the sticky bandits, they're great as well. And the traps are great. They're very creative. And there's just a lot of great funny moments, especially this moment. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. On your knees. I love you. You gotta do better than that. I love you! But after that, they made Home Alone 3 with a new character. Then they made, like, a fourth Home Alone with a new kid playing Kevin. Then they made this holiday heist movie. And they're just garbage films. Absolute trash. And I always thought, they're done. They're, they're done with Home Alone. They can't do this again. And now we got this sort of remake even though it's kind of tied into the Home Alone universe. Home sweet Home Alone. Oh sweet god, I hate this movie. I don't even want to explain the story because the story is the story of every fucking Home Alone movie. It's about a little kid and he's not accepted by his family. He just wants some peace. Then they leave him home alone and then robbers come to rob the house and he puts some traps for them and, you know. It's the same story, and I I just particularly hate this movie more than any Home Alone movie. Just, I, I really fucking hate it. <laughs> it's just, it, it it's like Home Alone if it was just completely commercialized, and it was just, it has no soul to it, no jokes, and it's just this complete snooze fest, stupid, one-dimensional film with some of the worst characters and some of the worst comedy I've ever seen. Uh, the biggest problem is the main actor. What's his name? Archie Yates, the guy from uh, Jojo Rabbit, who I, I actually loved him in Jojo Rabbit. He plays a, a character named Max Mercer. He's the biggest problem with this whole movie. Hugest problem. He's not likable. He's not enjoyable. I don't root for him. I don't care about him. I don't feel sorry for him. He's just a little shithead. And I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him. The whole move, he's like this rich kid. And he's not even like, 
He only has, like, one sibling. <laughs> like, Kevin had many siblings and many cousins, and I understand why Kevin felt like he was being ignored. This kid isn't really getting ignored. It's just a little ignored during the Christmas holidays, but his mom had to, like, leave early. Like, he doesn't have it that bad. And he, like falls asleep in the car and just even the way they like how they leave him home alone it doesn't make any sense and the movie just gets right into like the hijinks and stuff and it, it, nothing about him is enjoyable he has no character arc see kevin is a bit bratty but he learns throughout home alone he learns to be more accepting person he learns to love his family more he learns that Christmas isn't the same without his family. There's even a neighbor who he's afraid of, but he learns more about the neighbor and how he's actually a very sweet man. And he just, he learns so much. He becomes more independent because he's so reliant on his older siblings. He becomes independent. He conquers his fears. This kid does none of that. This kid learns nothing and conquers nothing. He's just a selfish little brat. And when he thinks these, this couple are going to kidnap him and sell him to old people. I'm like, what? He just designs these traps, and that's it, and then nothing else happens, and then, you know, the, the people are like, oh, it's okay, and then it kind of ends in this, like, happy note. It's just, it's so weird. The story is so weird. I'm like, what? It's so oddly paced, and just everything that happens is just, like, makes no sense. Then there's the couple, uh, El Ellie Kemper and Rob Del Noe, I think their names are. I forget the actor names, but the girl from Kimmy Schmidt is the is the is the wife. This husband and wife, they're basically the main characters. And they're basically losing their house. And then there's like this doll, and they think the main kid Max stole it, so they want to break into the house and get the doll. And this is another issue with the movie. Um the wet bandits were the robbers and they were villains they were villains you you loved them like they're such iconic christmas villains but when all the violent stuff happens to them it's funny because they're the villains and you're rooting for kevin when this couple who are just trying to save their house when they're going into this kid's house to get the doll back and they're going through all these horrible traps it's not funny it's actually hard to watch and it's kind of fucked up See, that's the problem. There's no villains in this movie. It's just, I guess, the, Max, the good kid, versus this couple who are also good. It's, it, it, there's no villains. So there's no stakes or nothing. Also, when he does the trap scenes, they last about, like, six minutes. Like, they don't even last very long. <laughs> it's just, like, I don't... It's so weird, and it's just, like, I don't understand what's happening. There's also a lot of just really bad slapstick and just... There's no message to this film, too. Like, Home Alone had such a great message about family and about always being there. This one is just about, I don't know, get money to get your house. Like, I think the movie would have been a lot more powerful if they didn't get the doll back and they lost their house, but the kids didn't care. They're like, home is where we all are, doesn't matter if we keep the house, but no, they get the house anyways, like, so, like, there's no message to the movie, and then, like, at the end of the movie, I'm spoiling the whole movie, but who gives a fuck, but, the, the, the burglars, the burglar husband and wife, they become friends with Max at the end, with the family, and just, it, it doesn't, I'm like, why? Why do they become friends? Like, it, nothing makes sense in this movie, and it's just utter nonsense. This movie is nonsense, it's just stupid, if it was just a regular movie, it would have just been a bad kids movie. But it is a Home Alone movie. Oh yeah, Buzz is in the movie too. They go nowhere with that, but still. This movie's a Home Alone movie. And it's like a remake, or somewhat sequel to Home Alone. 
and it just sucks all the fun, all the heart, all the soul, all the greatness of what Home Alone did. This movie is a commercialized Disney product Home Alone movie, and it's just disgusting to watch. I fucking hated every second of this movie. I knew it would be bad. I knew it would be bad. Like, anyone with a half a brain would know this movie's bad. But it's more than bad. It is an abomination. I fucking hate it. If Cinderella didn't come out this year, it'd be the worst film of the year. Stop with the Home Alone movies. Don't ever make a Home Alone movie again. Just stop. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um... I have nothing else. Join the dark side.